everyone, it is Ashley Ann Vickers and welcome to ALMS.com. This week we are headed north of the border to the Canadian Tire Motorsport Park for the Mobile One Grand Prix of Motorsport. It's one of the fastest tracks we visit and one of the drivers' favorites. Let's check in on what they have to say about this 2.4 mile circuit. Green flag, go. Great, 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 and Dyson gets the jump. It's old school, you know. Today's racetracks are built to a certain safety standard, and you know, most sport is there. It meets the criteria, but you know you don't get the same elevation changes like most sport has. You don't get the same uh, high-speed corners that most sport has, and the combination of elevation change and the fast corners all in one, you don't see that in, in very many places in today's modern circuit. So to go back there, it's it's really a different driving style. Uh, we got to approach it differently, different mentally, physically. Set up on the race car, everything's different at most sport. You are always running fifth, I mean sixth gear, fifth gear, fourth gear, gear corners all, all the way. I mean you have a slower part but even that it, it seems to be really really fast so I really like it. This is quite a, you need to have this kind of flow. It's very similar or familiar to Le Mans at, at points where you have the rails are there but you are going really really fast and it's always exciting as a driver, I mean, to go that fast in very many blind corners, so it's always good and traffic is always another, another thing to, to deal with, so I mean, it's very challenging. It's a circuit that brings in a lot of fans, a lot of Canadian fans, uh, a, lot of, um, a lot of good support from them. And as far as the circuit goes, it is a very, very difficult circuit, very technical, very physical, you know, the slowest corner is probably around 60 miles an hour, the slowest corner. Everything else is super, super fast. So it's definitely a course that I'm really looking forward to with, with the Viper GTSRs. No, I'm uh, fortunate enough to have won the last two races at Mosport. I'd love to make it three in a row. Uh, I just got to have a car that's, uh, you know, balanced at high speed, uh, something that's comfortable over the bumps. I know there's uh, been a lot of track changes. I'm not sure how it's going to affect our car. So we got to be a little bit ready to play an audible there when we get on the track, see if there's anything new and make quick adjustments. But, uh, you know, the Flying Lizard guys are on top of all of it, so we should be really good there. There you have it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter for all the exciting news and updates. Until next time, see you guys later.